Welcome to BeltSpy, the world's leading visual conveyor belt inspection and monitoring system. This 15-minute video will describe the operator experience and illustrate the major activities that take place while using the BeltSpy system. The video consists of four parts. In the first part, we will show you the user interface for the control monitor and how to create belt images. In the second part, we will discuss the belt inspection process. The third part describes how to use the image monitor to navigate through the belt images. Finally, the fourth part shows how to stop the conveyor belt in a particular position to perform maintenance. Please note that for the sake of brevity, some of the system's advanced features, including double-sided installations, comparison browsing, and event monitoring, are not included in this video. This clip explains the user interface of the control monitor screen. We will assume that the belt inspection has already been completed. Later, we will demonstrate the belt inspection process, how to detect and register belt events. The large circle on the control screen graphically represents the belt. Different kinds of events are shown on it. The system distinguishes three types of events, clip joints, splice joints, and surface faults. The belt graph rotates counterclockwise. This reflects the position of the belt in real time relative to a reference point called the marker. The belt position is defined as the distance between the marker, represented by yellow crosshairs on the belt graph, and the camera installation site, shown as the home icon. When the conveyor stops, a warning message appears on the screen reporting the time at which it stopped moving. The belt graph shows the position of the stationary belt. The exact position is also given numerically. The conveyor description panel shows the system's configuration. The inspection summary panel shows the inspection statistics, repair station location, and the belt location to be repaired. The belt images table lists all available full belt images. Belt images are named by the date they were taken. The events table lists all belt events. Normally, join events are created automatically by the system, while fault events are created manually by the operator. For join events, the first column lists the number and type of the join. The second column lists the distance from the marker and the belt segment length. For fault events, the first column lists the severity of the fault. The second column lists the distance from the fault event to the preceding join. The third column contains optional comments. Comments can be added or changed at any time. For joins, the comment field will usually contain the internal joint identifier. To create a belt image, click on the Create Belt Image button. Upon completion, a new entry will be added to the list of belt images. It takes at least one full belt revolution to create the belt image. This clip describes how to view the belt structure and discover potential surface faults. The inspection process consists of two phases, an automatic scan and visual inspection of potential faults. During the first phase, the system scans the belt image to detect joins and potential faults. Detected joins are automatically registered as events. Potential faults are marked with red rectangles, but are not automatically registered. For example, consider the case where the system has recently been installed, two belt images have been taken, and there is no information yet about belt condition. First, we display an image on the image monitor by clicking on the image name. The belt image appears. The upper left corner of the screen shows the current inspection summary. To start the inspection, press F3. It takes several seconds to inspect each kilometer of the belt. Upon completion of the scan, the inspection summary is updated. In this example, the system found four joints, one clip and three splices, along with 27 potential faults. The control monitor screen is also updated to reflect the new information on the belt structure. Joints are shown on the belt graph. The length of each belt segment is shown at its midpoint. 
Once the inspection is complete, the event table is populated and the inspection summary is updated. Note that there is not yet information about surface faults on the control monitor. In the second phase of the inspection process, the operator must visually inspect surface faults and decide whether to ignore them or register them as events. To sequentially display potential surface fault images, press F5. To register a fault as an event, press a number key for the fault severity number. This will automatically register the fault. Otherwise, it will be ignored. A comment may optionally be added in the comment field. All changes are immediately reflected on the control monitor. There is no need to go through the inspection process for every belt image taken. It should only be done from time to time. This is because the severity of surface faults does not usually escalate rapidly. When all potential surface faults are processed, the inspection is complete. The control monitor screen will update to show the new surface fault events on both the belt graph and the event table. In this example, out of the 27 potential surface faults detected by the system, only 11 were registered as events by the operator. Only one set of events is stored, regardless of how many belt images are taken. The operator can easily view any event on the belt image. For example, to see what splice number 3 looked like on the 1st of October, first display the corresponding belt image by clicking on it. Then click on splice number 3. The image of this splice appears on the image monitor. Scroll up and down to examine the vicinity of the splice area. In the following clip we will show several different ways to browse the belt image. This clip describes how to display and navigate through the belt images. First, to display a belt image, click on the entry for that image in the list of belt images on the control monitor. The belt image fragment appears on the image monitor. There are several information fields at the top of the screen, including the distance from the marker to the displayed location, the event indicator. This only appears if the displayed location is close to an event. The event indicator can be a splice icon, clip icon, or severity number for a surface fault. An editable comment field. The graphical viewing position indicator. This is shown on the control screen as a magnifying glass symbol on the belt rim. The belt side indicator. The image creation time. The number of the belt section the displayed location belongs to the distance from the leading join. A number of keystroke commands are also available to navigate through the belt images. These allow the operator to sequentially scroll the image by one screen, jump to the beginning of the image, jump to the end of the image, jump through join events, or jump through all events. The mouse wheel can also be used for sequential scrolling. The scrolling speed depends on the cursor position. Moving the cursor towards the top of the screen will increase the scrolling speed. 
To view a particular belt position, hover the cursor over the position indicator and click when that position is shown in the small window near the cursor. The rubber band tool can be used to make measurements by holding and dragging with the left mouse button. The width and length in millimeters are then shown at the top of the rectangle. This clip shows how to automatically stop the conveyor belt in a particular position so that the belt location to be repaired is at the repair station. The position of the repair station is defined as the distance from the camera position. It can be changed at any time. On the belt graph it is represented as a red dot. There can only be one repair station at a time. First, flag the belt location to be repaired by displaying the belt image and navigating to the spot to be repaired. For example, to repair splice join number 3, in the events list, click on the corresponding item. The image of this splice appears on the image monitor. To set up the repair location, press F9. A red circle appears on the belt graph, showing the location of the repair station. When you are ready to initialize automatic stopping mode, press Enter. A warning message will appear on the control monitor. Automatic stopping mode can be cancelled at any time by pressing Enter again. Once the flagged belt location arrives at the repair station, the conveyor will be stopped. Note that while Belt Spy can automatically stop the conveyor, it cannot start it.